where was it at now? <laughs> All right, welcome back. We just did the fucking Telltale Tart Boulevard. Don't buy it. Yeah, I liked it. It was all right. I think I said five. Four, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was okay. All right. We're going to do this Green Flash. What's that? The Freak? The Freak. The Freak. I do know it's a 9.2%. Oh, shit. No, we... Shit. What? Give me a minute. Oh. <laughs> Here, let's um, use your fucking gun to prop it up. There we go. Props cut too cold. Damn. That's about that hops from here. That's a little 12 gauge, man. 20 gauge. Oh, is it? <laughs> I thought y'all boys up there in Minnesota went big. Oh, he's not? I don't know. It is thick. Right on the shoe. Right on the shoe. Right on the shoe. There you go. That's alcohol abuse, man. At least ain't on the carpet. Here's my regular gauge. I got a monster. Well, we've kind of got off, guys. Yeah. I'm just gonna do this. That one must fucking work. It. We got a real. I like the hops smell on this. We got a slight kind of a bubble gum. Is this a Belgian beer? Belgian style. Okay, Belgian style beer with pale ale. There's a, I've actually had a few of those Belgian pale ales that I've liked. Um, do you smell bubble gum though? I do. A tint, but I'm smelling. I smell a, not a harsh hops, mm -hmm. but like a perfect hops. Mm. By the smell of it, it is exactly what it says on the label, so. Yeah, it. Not too bad. It is bottle conditioned. Mm, I do like it. Yeah. We do get Green Flash Brewery. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen this one. By the way, these are from Nathan. Thank you, Yeah, Nathan, you picked out a good beer. Where's Nathan from? California. California. What part? <laughs> I don't mention it on here. I know, I know his address. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to mention it on here. All right, Southern North or? <laughs> California. <laughs> Well, see, the reason why I asked Nathan was because Southern California, mm, but Northern, oh yeah, anything north of Bakersfield, if I could get my, my significant other to move out there, we would be there. I'm getting a little full. <laughs> This is beer number five, but this is a large beer. Um, we had a, a lot of pizza at a Gaddy Town. We did. We should have went back for those seconds. Yeah. I'm going to go piss because I got to be right back. <laughs> you can yank if you want to. Well, my thoughts on the beer. One thing I really love about it is how it's not... I really like a beer that the hops are there the way this is. It's not too aggressive. You know, it's like perfect. And that's what I really like about it. Um, good beer. Be a good beer with dinner, steak, or whatever. While he's gone, I go ahead and tell y'all I'm going to throw a pile of nine on this. All right? 
Well, right now, I'm just going to enjoy drinking the beer, so that's what we're doing. We're on chat video with some guys, which we're muted us out. Y'all might be able to hear them. They seem like pretty cool guys. They're some of Steven's friends. And, uh, I'm sitting here listening to them, watching them. And, I want to party with these guys, just to let you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This guy was demonstrating the <coughs> sound of a shotgun as he was slapping his head. So uh, this guy. So I mean, you know. Uh, honestly, I don't know who that is. Oh. He's talking about automatic weapons a lot. Yeah, I don't know who he is. Yeah, they went they went dead on with the uh, with the description. It is a Belgian IPA. I'm getting the smell, the bubble gum. I'm getting the spices from the Belgian beer and the hops from the, an IPA. Yeah, I'm 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 loving this beer, man. This here is a kickback drink beer. Shoot the bull. It's a Belgian American hybrid, Amer Amarillo uh, dry hopped, and dual yeast fermentation. So they use the yeast to uh, get the uh, the alcohol, throw it in the bottle, throw a little extra yeast in it, and it uh, ferments in the bottle until you toss it in the fridge. Oh, and before I forget again, my friends from Atlanta, GA, has been asking me to, because I told them I did these, and they're actually starting... Well, they got CDs made. Um, they're called the Lax. Um, you can find them on YouTube, everywhere. You really, you ain't heard any of the music on the radio or anything like that. They're really good. Uh, they asked me to put a shout out, and hope some of y'all view them, and we can get them go somewhere. Uh, a little bit about them. They're country or yeah, they're, well, they're country, rock, and rap. Um, the way I met these guys is I was stuck in a truck stop over a weekend, and I went in there, and they were buying up all the beer. And I made the comment, I want to go with those guys. And next thing I knew, I was in a three-quarter ton Dodge, tearing down a dirt road, drinking, and <laughs> yeah. They're awesome. They got real good music. They got, I mean, they, they're rednecks. Um, now, if you're offended by drugs, sex, guns, and rebel flag, don't listen to them. Hey, move to fucking, move to Obamatown. <laughs> I mean, if if you if you're offended by that, because they they do love their pot, you know, and they're. From the south, I mean, that's what the what it's about. Now I will look. You said they have a YouTube channel. Oh man, they got all kinds. Links will be below. Yeah, I got. I would play their music on here, but then you get into copyright infringement, and I don't get paid. <laughs> then if I can find my YouTube, I'll show you where to go. That's Brazzers, man. You don't need Brazzers on there. One for one? Just pass it, bud. Oh. Now, if you're still here, this is a rather tasty beer. Um, I'm definitely getting the... Uh, if you ever had a, um, a Belgian beer, you get that. And then the aftertaste is the, uh, the IPA. You get a lot of the hops. Yeah. More towards the pine. Yeah, you just go on lax. I mean, they're all the songs on here. They just haven't. 
after you hit it big, I mean, you don't hear anything as far as radio or anything like that. I mean, these are just some real good loving country boys. It's yeah, there's a lot of people that are uploading uh, their their music. The Lax Music Evo link below. Uh, the Lax link below. Uh, I mean, a lot of y'all probably heard of Coke Ford. He's helping them get going. I mean, if you ain't heard of Code Four, then well. Radio, Radio by the Orchard. Uh, four years ago, they uploaded Country Road. It has two million views. Link will be below. Country Road is for y'all rednecks out there. Trust me, yeah. it hits home. There you go. So a few links will be below if you're into uh, country rock rap type stuff. Uh, like Code Four. Uh, I do have to call for my phone. Big Smo. Yeah, I don't have any Big Smo. I never listen to him. He's new, but he's uh, he's hitting it pretty big. He has just like Code Four. They're basically Code Four, Big Smo is actually helping them get started. Mm -hmm. So this is a damn good beer. It is, but it's it's a kickback, mm -hmm. shoot the bull. Beer. Actually, they seen that that one I sent you. Uh, you seen me drinking uh, wild turkey, but it won't happen again. Mm -hmm. they, they seen that song. Oh, okay. Um, but I changed the words a little bit because <laughs> well, I thought I was going to jail that night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly getting rather full, so I might take a break. <laughs> yeah, small break might might be nice. Well, we've had some pretty high alcohol content. We ate a lot of food, <laughs> and we had a lot of food. Um, you. You, yeah, I'll try this one. You throw it. Well, we gotta tell what we, we taste. Shit, good beer. I, I, well, I, when he went to the bathroom, I was telling y'all, I got the, the hops is like perfect. And you get that Belgian, you get the bubble gum. Yeah. Like kind of a banana. Not too dry. So maybe that's what's there that I'm not getting is that banana taste. Mm -hmm. Now it's a beer you can sit down and and you can share this with two or three people and just have you a conversation about what you taste. Uh, you can probably drag that out over probably 30 minutes to 45 minutes, two or three people. Yeah, so, without a doubt. I mean, that's definitely a good one. Once it warms up, it flavor changes. Um, good alcohol, 9.2%. And he's going to toss it in. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's what I'm I do believe I've seen this before, and I will be getting it again. Alright, All right, well, I told y'all when he was in the bathroom, I already rated it. Okay. I gave it a 9, man. I'm, and the only reason why I didn't give it a 10 is because I don't know how much it costs in the stores. Mm -hmm. Nine and a half. So, good beer. Very good beer. I mean, if I knew exactly how much that would cost them... In the store, See, that's why I yeah. I mean, anything over under ten bucks, shit, I give it a nine and a half, ten. This is probably uh, sitting around the six fifty, seven, eight dollar range for one. Though I wouldn't think it'd be over. I guarantee it's under seven dollars. But that's for one. Yeah. So, which if you're drinking by yourself, one's probably going to be pretty good, especially at nine point two percent. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is probably uh, 18 ounce, 20 ounce. Yeah. One pint, six ounces, 22 ounce. So yeah, 22 ounces of 9.2%. Uh, That's a lot of beer. You can get anybody a little, little buzz. Definitely make your uh, work day a little better. Before work or after work, it's going to make it a little better. See, I knew there was something wrong with your Walmart workers. <laughs> so, um, there you go. We're going to go and rank it a nine and a half overall. Good beer. 
We're gonna take a little break. Let me see.